right. Okay. Uh, Prior to the to it even taking place, man, it show you how accurate how accurate it is because it says um, it, he is the first king of Grisha, man. The first the first king of Grisha, meaning the whole Greek territory, man. That's not to say that there weren't any kings that that ruled in ancient Greece. Nah, they had their city states. You had the kings of Sparta. You had the kings of here, the kings of there, but he was the first who actually ruled ruled them as a as a unit, as a whole. Okay, so he was the first king of the whole territory of Greece, man. Showing you that this is accurate, man. Bible prophecy is accurate, man. Okay. If I can make a quick point, Bible for sure, because when you read you read um, the New Testament, it, it, it just starts talking about Romans, man. You can't you can't find no info on Romans in the Old Testament. You know what I mean? You talking about the Greeks. All right, but then you go to Matthew. All of a sudden, you see, you see, you see Israel being underneath uh, captivity and paying uh, uh, tax and tribute to the Romans, and they got them on the like full dominion. Like, you know what I mean? Israel, don't, yeah, full subjection. Where's that? Where's that gap? That that mid history, man. It's, it's in the pocket in the books like the First Maccabees and Second Maccabees, and that's why that's why uh, you so called devils, man. That's why well, you devil, you so called uh, elite. Y'all try to hide that history, man, because it exposes you, man. But through the spirit power of Yahweh by Shem Shah, he gave us that, that knowledge back, man. And we got to jump on you, man. That's right. Let me expose you, man. All right. All right. Uh, this is another precept proving that you need my so Y'all the wicked, man. Y'all the ones ruling it in the world. This is Revelation. Chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. Edom is red. And power was given to him that set their one to take peace from the earth. Right, Khan. And that right there proves that the so-called white man, okay, is the red devil on the planet, man, because he took peace from the earth, man. That's right. All right? Everywhere this so-called white man goes, all right, he brings up but death and destruction. You see it. Okay, look at his handiwork. Look at the, the condition of the world today, man. All right, and he's using the American military, all right, to push his agenda, man. All right? That's why there's nothing but chaos and hell. That's why now you hear nukes, nukes, wars, nukes, right? Nations like Russia, Iran, China, Russia, the so-called white man who gets caught in the problem. Right? Power was given to him that set their on to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. Woo! They should kill one another. Hey, hence why you Edomites, okay, are a uh, house divided, man. Satan's house is divided, man. Y'all go to end, kill each other, and it's starting now, man. America's gonna be against the Russians. That's Esau against Esau. That's right. Uh, and, it, and it reads, and there was given unto him a great sword. Now that's talking about who? Esau, Edom. This is Genesis chapter 27, verse uh, 38. And Esau said unto his father, has thou but one blessing, my father? Because the blessing was given to uh, Isaac. Isaac, uh, I mean to Jacob. Jacob, Isaac gave the blessing to Jacob. Jacob has supplanted uh, Esau. And Esau says to his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, and answered, Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above, and by the sword shall thou live. Right. So it was given to Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, that sword. And that's why he got nukes and he got tomahawk missiles and tanks and all that shit, because that's his blessing. And that proves that Esau, Edom, is the so-called white man. Right. Well, the only way he can obtain anything in this world, he has to do it by the sword, man. And you see it in his handiwork, 600 years, man. Starting uh, from 1492, man, Christopher Columbus, to now, man. Nothing but the so-called white man, causing death and destruction by the sword, right? 